So if you're in the end of autumn, like I am, or the beginning of winter, and you want to have a good year next year, you're hoping to maybe even have the best year yet, but you're not sure how to go about it, or you're lacking motivation, and it's wet and damp and you don't really want to get out, keep watching the video to find out ways of making sure you stay motivated and have a great new year. I'm David and this is Forest Velo. So the first thing you need to do is really have a goal and make sure you have something to aim for. And like they say, if you aim high, even if you don't reach it, you'll do better than if you have a mediocre goal that is easily within your reach. So choose something exciting. Maybe the attack to tour. Maybe if you're in England, the dragon ride. Maybe a big sportive that you know of or a race or simply going further than you've ever done before. So set a goal is the number one priority. Number two, make sure you build steps to reach that goal. Work backwards, find out when the goal is, and then on the calendar, start plotting some other things you can do up to that goal. Maybe it's enter some smaller sportives, maybe it's do your first century ride. To make sure you have some smaller targets you can work towards on the way and they completely depend on what event you're doing obviously if it's a long distance event you want to build up mileage maybe you're aiming as a power target which you know you need to complete a time trial or something like that you want to do to have some smaller steps to help you get there Another thing you can do at this time of year if you're lacking motivation is work out some different routes. Go on commute or ride with GPS or something like that, Strava, to create some routes you haven't done before. It's always nice to go on different roads and experience different places, so have a go at that. Another thing you can do at this time of year is try some different sorts of riding. If you normally ride the road, go mountain biking or gravel riding. When the roads are really filthy like they are at the moment here, you might as well embrace it and do something different. So another thing you could do at this time of year is book in a spring training camp. There's nothing more motivating than knowing you've got a training camp in Mallorca or somewhere like that to really give you that motivation to get out and do the miles before you get to the camp. You don't want to arrive really unfit. So if you do a training camp, it's gonna mean you're that much closer to your goal afterwards which is always a good thing and that in itself will give you a good boost to keep going after you come back to reach that goal if you're enjoying this content don't forget to like and subscribe so you can see more videos like this coming up on the channel and if you've got any ideas of what you do or suggestions to keep yourself motivated through the winter drop them in the comments below so we can all benefit from those ideas another thing you can do in the winter of course to keep you motivated is go inside go on the turbo do Zwift or trainer road or wahoo those sorts of platforms can really keep your fitness up over the winter 
you can follow training programs so you know you're building a good strong base ready for the spring maybe to get you ready for that training camp and it's fun to do at the same time so if you don't already it's well worth having a look at indoor riding over the winter as well to keep you fit another thing that can keep you really motivated over the winter is joining a club so if you're not already a member of a club look at joining one to go out on winter rides with like-minded people and that really will give you a motivation to get out on those dark damp days when you know there's a whole group of riders ready to go another thing that's really good to do in the winter especially before you start doing your sort of training is to recalculate your zones it's quite possible that towards the end of the summer or in the autumn maybe as you've ridden a bit less your zones have dropped or changed so it's well worth revisiting them to make sure you've got accurate zones to train with nothing worse than spending hours training indoors or outdoors and realize actually you're probably in the wrong zones and they're not accurate, accurately calculated. I've done a video on zones and a good way to set them to make sure they are accurate. And I'll link to that at the end of this video and I'll put it down in the comments below. Another great thing to do or to start in the winter time if you don't already do it is weight training. Doing strength and conditioning can really make you stronger and help you more resilient to injury and things like that. So again, maybe look at starting a program for strength and conditioning over the winter when you're probably doing less miles than you might in the summer. You might have a bit more free time and it's an ideal time to do that. And lastly, don't forget your zone two so important to build a good strong aerobic base it's easy to forget that sometimes especially if you're doing uh, Zwift riding and races and things like that you do a lot of high intensity it's easy to do that on the turbo the trainer but you can't really beat long aerobic rides so make sure you're trying to fit those in too whether it is on the trainer or whether you brave it and go outside and do your zone two training outside. Never neglect your zone two. So I hope you found this video useful. There's loads of things you can do over the winter to mix it up a bit, to make sure you're staying fit and to keep that enthusiasm going. So until next time, See you soon.